This spring at planting time, I was feeling so ambitious and I must have had a real taste for mojitos because I planted a bunch of mint and a bunch of flat leaf parsley and curly parsley and just all kinds of herbs. I was so excited to finally have a sunny garden spot. Well, now my garden is loaded with all these fresh herbs and I've been trying to think of ways to use them up. So today I'm going to show you one way that you can really use up a lot of your fresh herbs. And you know, a lot of times we think fresh herbs are only for garnish, but actually they can add, oh, just a vibrant flavor to your dishes, to salads. And not only are they full of flavor, but they're also really good for you too. So I'm going to show you how I use parsley, mint, and chives to make kind of like a drizzle and I'll show you how easy it is. So I've got my herbs washed and chopped. So I've got like a cup of parsley that I've packed really tight into the cup. And I've got a mixture here of both the flat leaf and the curly parsley. And I've got half cup of mint that I've chopped up and I'm using my small little food processor because when I get this thing really whirring, it's going to really kind of, you'll see how it goes down and it doesn't look so full anymore. A couple tablespoons of chives, probably maybe a quarter of a cup. You can just do this to taste and you really could use any fresh herbs, but be careful with things like oregano, thyme, rosemary, they're very powerful. So if you put it in, use just a little bit. And I'm going to put, start with about a quarter cup of olive oil extra virgin olive oil. And I've got some fresh lemon juice, a tablespoon or two, and oh, a little bit of salt. And just toward the end, I'm going to add a little bit of water because I wanna be able to dollop it, but I also wanna be able to drizzle it a little bit. So here you are, and I'm just going to show you the consistency that I have right here. And you can see that at this point, it'll be a really nice little dollop on some fall soup that I'm going to make. I'm Sue Doden, sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.